Since the release of iOS 15, one feature has completely changed the way that I relate to my iPad. That is focus mode. So let's take a closer look at why. So what exactly is focus mode? Well, it's a customizable do not disturb feature that allows you to create different profiles for the different kinds of activities you want to do on your iPad. You can enable notifications from certain contacts or apps depending on the time of the day or the location to make sure you're never distracted when you really want to get something done. But the real revolutionary feature is the ability to set up dedicated home screens for each focus mode. Of course, you've been able to swipe between different home screens for some time now, but focus mode limits you there too so you really are locked into the home screen that you want to work on until you make a conscious choice to get out of it. I mostly use my iPad to plan these YouTube videos and also to create and edit thumbnails on apps like Lightroom and Procreate so I've got a dedicated focus mode just for that. I've even arranged my apps into the general order of my workflow to nudge me along and keep me productive and of course I've set up a couple of widgets for my YouTube inbox as well as my most recent and favorite Notion pages. Well here's where the magic happens. Let's say I need to switch into my work mode really quickly to get something done. I've created a shortcut in my toolbar that allows me to do just that. And when I switch into my work mode, you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, that Gmail widget has now switched to be linked to my work address. And I've got a completely new set of apps on the home screen. I'm probably not doing heavy duty tasks on my iPad. So the main things are gonna be checking my calendar, maybe logging into a Zoom call or looking at some productivity tools like Trello. You might also know that I'm not a massive fan of G Suite on the iPad either. So I've got links to all of the Safari versions of the main tools I use for my job. And then to make sure I'm really in the zone, I've got a couple of Philips Hue shortcuts that switch on my lights into concentrate mode that just helps me kind of wake up and get on with the work I need to do. After work, it's time for a bit of relaxation and to make use of one of the coolest features in focus mode, which is that it can auto switch into the gaming focus as soon as you connect a controller. I've got the 8-bit Doe Pro 2, which is compatible with both my iPad and my Switch. And it's been great for playing games like Oceanhorn or San Andreas when I'm on long train journeys. I actually really like the Game Center widget, which livens up the home screen a little bit and gives you access to your most recently played titles. Fun widgets like that are still kind of lacking when you switch to an entertainment focus that brings together things like TV shows, movies, music and podcasts. There are a couple of useful ones like the Apple TV Plus widget that allows you to dive straight back into the next episode of the series you're watching. And it's good to see that Spotify have made a widget available too because not that many third party developers have. But until they do that, I've just got to put them alongside the other apps that don't have widgets like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Just kind of taking up space on my home screen. Focus mode is available on your iPhone or your computer as well, but it's on the iPad that it really comes to life. There's always this debate about whether an iPad is becoming a computer, but I think that its implementation of focus mode shows that it's still very much a device in its own right, and when you stop treating it like an iPhone or a laptop, that's when you're gonna get the most out of it. I've got quite a few videos on how to do that, and I recommend watching this one next, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.